and you wind the bottom bit round. That was lovely play. And re remember to say to Ross, I like playing with you like this. You're a very good boy. You're such a good, good boy, Ross. I love playing with you when you're so, when you're so good. It's good, lovely. good message for him. Give him a kiss. Le less words and big kiss. Yeah, big gorgeous kiss. Come here. Mm -hmm. I love milk. You. Milk. Milk. I'll go and get your milk, darling. You're thirsty. Oh, yeah. Let, let's leave them and see if anything kicks off. So you go into the kitchen, get the milk, and we'll see if anything kicks off between the two of them. Okay. And I'll be back in a wee minute. I can. I can. Ross is just hitting with the um, with the hammer. Right, they're going to start. Okay. Right, boys. Right, no, you no, go. No. Separate them. Take one and put him on the sofa and tell him to. Right, take Matthew off him. Put sit Matthew on the sofa. Right, Matthew. That's it. You, you don't hit your brother. And just sit him on the sofa and you say, you sit there until I tell you. Say, you don't hit your brother, you stay there. Don't hit your brother. Now you sit here until I tell you not to. What's that? Right, now you take Ross and you put him on the other sofa. No, Matthew's got off. What's that? Put Matthew back down and said, I said sit there. Matthew. <laughs> no, I said sit there. Shut up. Back up in that sofa, Ross. OK, take Matthew. I think, let's, shall we time him out for a bit? Pick him up and say, right, you go to your room. If you don't listen to Mummy, you go to your room. Listen, we go to your room if you do not listen to me. Right, say nothing more to him and just take him down there. Take him down to your room. Don't talk to him. Don't look at him now. Take him down to the room. And say, you are going to the, your room because you do not listen to Mummy. You are going to your room right now because you do not listen to Mummy. Don't talk to him anymore. Don't look at him. Just put him in the room and then and say, you can come out when I decide, but you stay in your room. So put him in and shut the door and just leave him there. And say, when you listen to me, you can come out. When you listen to me, I get, the next time you can come back out. OK, Ross is OK. I can see that he's fine. And this is a lesson for him as well, because he's suddenly being punished. Yeah, this is good. Hold the door. Because he, he, he knows now that, you know, this isn't going his way. And he's very, he's very cheeky to you. And Ross is fine. He's just outside your bedroom door. So he's also, in effect, being timed out because you've taken yourself away from him. So both of them are getting a consequence for their behaviour. So you ignore the kicking because the message is, Mummy doesn't respond to kicking. Leave Matthew where he is. Ross is fine where he is. Mummy wants that noise. <laughs> OK, you open the door and you say to him, I put you in here because you were fighting with your brother. If you do it again, you will go to your room again. And leave the room, Michelle, and then say the same thing to Ross, and then take both their hands, bring them down here, and let's see if they can play a bit better. OK? okay. Good. OK, go for it, girl. Listen, I put you in here because you were fighting with Ross. If you fight with Ross Dana again, you come, you come back along here. You do not fight with your Excellent. brother. Excellent. Right, stand up, say nothing more, take him by the hand. Just ignore Matthew and go and say the same with Ross. Ross, come here. Very good. Very, very good. Get down on his level and tell him. I left you outside the room because you were fighting with Matthew. You do not fight. If you fight again, you will go in your room. Let's go. Very good. That's an assertive mother. Yes. Yes.